Volume 2 of Archive British Diesel and Electric Traction continues the theme set in Volume 1, with shots of many of the early types of motive power built to replace steam locomotives in the British Railways era. Many of these locomotives have paved the way for the modern designs of today, but there have also been costly mistakes along the way, and far more classes of locomotives were built than ever needed to be. We begin with two of the more successful designs. This train, seen leaving Coventry in the early 1960s, was behind a Class 40 and a Class 24. A design which dates back to pre-BR days was the Great Western Railway's rail car. This one was at Didcot. The Class 55s, or Deltics, became the mainstay of the East Coast Main Line for nearly 20 years. This is an early shot of D9003, Mel, of Grantham, although at this time she had yet to be named. Just south of Grantham was Stoke Tunnel. This class 31 is seen heading north. Steam engines were still abundant at this time, as seen here with this ex-Great Western Railway's tank engine hauling a DMU at Birmingham Snow Hill Station. Also at Snow Hill was one of the then new Blue Pullman. First introduced in 1959, they were built by Metro Camel. They were powered by North British Man 12-cylinder engines and had two 425-horsepower GEC traction motors. Here's another blue pullman entering St Pancras station in London. Manchester's London Road station was renamed Piccadilly after rebuilding in the late 1950s. The DC Electrics used the same platforms here throughout their working lives.
this class 40 was hauling an assortment of brand new cars. We head south again, this time to Taplo on the Great Western Main Line. It's the early 1970s and this was a Class 52. and two more at Newbury. The 52s, or Westerns, were perhaps the most successful of all the diesel hydraulic designs and became the favourites of many rail fans during this era. This one, named Western Renown, is seen on the Cornish Riviera. Travel behind a class 52 down the Barks and Hans line to Devon. Where we see class 46 peak number 46049 near Dawlish Warren. shots near Dawlish. Firstly, D1026, a westbound motor rail train. Two more westerns, both eastbound. First, number D1001, western pathfinder. Seven, Western Lord. This is a class 45 peak, seen leaving Dawlish Station for the west. One more Western at Dawlish, this time Western Cavalier on a London bound train. We move east, this time to Basingstoke. This is class 33 number 33109, leaving the station with a stopping train. Many class 37s were still active in the mid 1990s and looked like making it into the next century. This one is number 37261. It's also seen at Basin Street. Class 73 also survived the many rationalizations dealt out to those motor classes over recent years, and most today work for Victoria to get the expresses. Another class 33, still at Basingstoke, the 
seen passing 47474. Three seven two six one again. And now again, this is Bobo Electro Diesel number seven four zero zero three. One member of a short-lived class of camera shy locomotives built in 1967. Between Hitchin and Biggleswade, the Class 55 Deltix would be seen in full flight. This was number 55022, the old Scotland And this was 55004, the Queen's own Highlander, on the down flying spot. This one, number 31117. On volume one, we saw the experimental brush type 4 Coco diesel electric Falcon. Here it is again at Peterborough. It had the same engines as a Western, but had a slightly lower tractive effort of 60,000 pounds because of its electric traction.
This class 08 diesel shunter is seen at Snow Hill. It was filmed running live through the station. All over Britain there were privately owned industrial diesel shunters in the British Railways era. This particular one was filmed in Manchester. Our first AC electric on volume 2 is this class 85 seen near Brinklow on the west coast of Main Line. This class 86 was at Coventry. LNWR Junction from their home on the southern and western region. About to take over the up Royal Scot, we see another Class 40. This Class 45 peak was approaching Leicester. and another Class 45. The Class 25s, or RATs, disappeared from service in the mid-1980s after some 25 years constant service. The Class 81 electric is seen at Nuneaton. This is a Class 86. Station in London, haunt of many Class 45s. This one, number 45122, has obviously had its head coat box modified somewhat by vandals. The head coat boxes on this 45 were split, a throwback to the days of front end doors. Celtic number 55007, Pinza, on the East Coast Main Line at Hatfield. Earlier we saw Meld at Grantham. Here she is again, much later into her career, at King's Cross. Valley Moss departs from King's Cross.
further down the East Coast Main Line, this is 55022 at Redford. And the Durham Light in. Moss again, this time at Doncaster. Also at Doncaster, 55006, the Fife and Walthar Yeoman. Some more Delphics, this is 55009, still at Doncaster. Southbound and speed through Grantham, we see number four, Queen's Own Islander. And the Duke of Wellington's regiment, north of Newark. semaphore signals still control trains at Newark. 55009 again, this time on a down express. The flow of Deltix is interrupted by peak number 45011 on this down train. Finally at Newark, we see Pinza again. Ten years earlier, at Snow Hill, and we see a Class 40 coupled to a Class 47, passing another Class 47. This Class 47, in ex-works condition, was on an up train. This time at New Street Station, we see an early shot of a DMU. The Staffordshire Regiment was numbered D-71 at this time, she was later designated the number 45049. Back across the city to Snow Hill again, and a single class 20 on a short southbound freight. Another single class 20 on an engineer's train north of Lockerbie.
This is class 27, number 27012, on a Dundee to Edinburgh train, south of Mark Inch. Another class 26, this one departing from Dingwall for the Kyle. This one, number 26042, was also northbound out of Dingwall. It was bound for Thurso and Whit. Single coach trains were not uncommon north of Glasgow. This one had come from Oban and was behind class 27, number 27107. Some more Class 27s. This is 27036, arriving at Crean Larrick. Same train leaving for Oban.
a pair of Class 27s head down into Cree and Larrick with a train from Fort William. to take the Inverness train from the Kyle of Locals. Halfway between Inverness and the Kyle was the famous passing place at Achnasheen. Here, two trains pass, one westbound and one eastbound. Class 26 number 26013 is seen on the early morning freight train from Fraserburgh to Aberdeen at Strecken. Just north of Coventry was Three Spires Junction. This is 25277 on a southbound working. Leaving with a Chrysler freight line of train for Scotland. 
The second man, Ted Tasers, now drives expresses up and down the West Coast main line. Ted was probably still at school, however, when this DMU was seen entering Birmingham New Street Station. On the same day, English Electric 1 Coco 1, number 10201, was also present in Birmingham. Class 31 departs with this passenger train. Winchester. Elf 
ill-fated advanced passenger train saw very little revenue earning service. It was withdrawn shortly after commencing service trains at the end of 1981. These shots were taken when it was still on test. and one at Grantham. This one was number 55011 and was called the Royal Northumberland Fusiliers. Peak number 45147 departs from Kettering Station on the Midland Main Line. Kettering, this is 45045. And class 44, number 44009, Snowden, complete with a new front end. Rick train behind class 25 numbers 25175 and 25053. This was also in Kettering. Healy Mills near Wakefield was once one of the biggest freight complexes in England. In the mid-1970s, we see class 40 number 40156 at this location. Also at Healy Mills, number 40105.
Deltic number 55004 was crossing the Royal Border Bridge near Berwick on Tweed on the East Coast Main Line. Approaching Berwick Station, we see 55006. on this freight work. Back to the Midlands, and this is 37134 at Water Autumn. The Class 46 peaks were all withdrawn before the 45. This one, 46045, also was seen at Water Orbit. And a pair of Eight seven zero two eight at Watford Junction. The eighty seven electrics. October 36, that were introduced in 1973. This one is number 87009, who carried the name City of Birmingham. Our only movie shot of a Class 84 is this one, taken at King's Langley in 1978, which was number 84009. number 81021. At Finsbury Park, we see Generator 47, number 47410, and another Pullman service. Our next location is Trent Junction near Nottingham. Once the site of a busy station, it's now just a busy junction. This is 20173. Class 44, peak number 44008, Penny Ghent. number 25126 on the up and slow line, a line which has recently been disconnected. And 45113 on an express train for St. Pancras. This class 46 was at Hadley Wood. as was the Class 40, number 40181. On Volume 1, we saw the February 1977 last run of the Westerns. Here it is again at Grove. Some more shots at Dawlish. Here we see a Class 46 passing a Class 47 on a motor rail working.
an eastbound Class 52 Western working. Another two-in-one shot. The engines this time are a class 50 and a class 46. The first coach behind D1053 on this eastbound express was a Gresley Buffet car. in this series, we have shown steam towing diesel. However, the boot is on the other foot here, as we see a Class 47 towing a dead black five. The location, Birmingham Snow Hill. This is a class 24. And two diesel multiple units. This class 47 was on the Pines Express, a train which still runs in the 1990s, albeit over a slightly different route. This class 24 was at Stetchford. Also at Stetchford, an unusual double heading between a class 40 diesel and a black 5 steam locomotive. almost brand new Class 52 Western Diesel Hydraulic and its Pullman train. It would have been deputising for an unavailable blue Pullman and certainly caught the eye. <laughs> 